It is a big mess here. We just got on scene a few moments ago and spoke with Washington State Patrol. Let me get out of the way so you can see here. So the focus of the investigation is that blue box car that you see right there. Now, Trooper Axman tells us that the call came in around 5.35 a.m. this morning. They were saying, Washington State Patrol said the traffic was actually stopped as normal. It was a typical morning commute. But for some reason, that blue box truck did not stop. Ended up rear-ending a van. That yellow tape that you see there, that is where the van is actually stuck underneath the box car. Unfortunately, the driver of that van is the confirmed dead person there. Um, the road is going to be shut down, as, as, as Cam mentioned, for quite some time. Right now, they're having all the drivers get off of the freeway here and then try and get their way back onto I-5. That's causing a pretty big backup. If you are heading this way, you're going to want to consider taking the Anderson West Brown exit, as what she tells me there, where you will then be able to get on a road that will go parallel with I-5 and allow you to get back on the freeway here. But a very big investigation here. There is at least one person dead. There are several other people injured. You see all the scatter of cars that are out there as well now, but the primary bit of that investigation is on that blue box car there. Again, we just got on scene here. When we get some more details about what's going on here, we will certainly update you guys and pass that along to you. But for right now, send it back to you guys inside. All right, Tony, thank you very much.